Good afternoon and welcome. It feels so strange to not have my mask on, but it feels good at the same time. So for those of you, there's plenty more seats here if you'd like to sit, but it's your day, so feel free to do whatever's comfortable. So a special thank you to Jeff Green over there, because let's, let's thank him for the wonderful <laughs> piano playing. In the short time that I've known Jeff, I've learned that he is a man of many talents. And that is true for most of, and all of our staff here in the Brown community. So welcome everybody. Bear Day Reimagined, a celebration of staff. And guess what? We're together again. That deserves its own round of applause. <laughs> so as I said, make yourself comfortable. We're gonna be pretty informal. And also, I want to acknowledge and say a special welcome for those joining us via live stream. So thank you for being here with us, and we're about to get started with our program. Hit it, folks. And now Brown, RISD, Jendo, Taiko will play, and you're going to love it.
Thank you. Thank you, Brown, RISD, Jengo, Jendo Teiko. That was absolutely fabulous. I had a chance to do a little bit of that earlier on, and I told you there's no best stress reliever than to do that. And I can't wait to learn. So love the energy and way to go to get things started. So let's give them another round of applause. We appreciate them. So my name is Marie Williams, and, and I am the Vice President for Human Resources. And on behalf of President Paxson, who's unfortunately not feeling well and is not able to be here as scheduled, Sarah Latham, our new EVP for Finance and Administration, and I, it is certainly our pleasure and delight to welcome you here and also to introduce our special guests. Since this is my first bear day, and so the most special, I'm so excited to be here. And I only started at Brown this past July, but it's been immediately apparent to me that whether we are custodians, administrators, researchers, bookstore clerks, public safety officers, chefs, communicators, you name, the, you know, you name it all, it takes a village to run Brown, and which, to be honest, is like a city in itself. And so it's clear to me so what makes us strong is our team spirit and mindset. I also have a hospitality background, and team used to stand for and stands for together everyone accomplishes more. And I know no better day or event to celebrate you and your valued contributions to Brown. And how special is it that we can be back here in person? I no longer have to do the virtual hugs. We'll do the elbows in person. And the energy in the room is certainly palatable, and thank you to Jengo Teiko for that. I'm also so happy to be here with you all and to welcome those of you who are also joining again via live stream. So up next, please join me in welcoming Raymond Sanchez Torres. He's the application and project coordinator for the New England Addiction Technology Transfer Center in the School of Public Health. Whoo, that was a mouthful, Raymond. He is also a 2021 graduate from our Leading From Where You Are program. And Raymond is here to tell us a little bit about why he feels so passionate about his work at Brown. Let's give him a round of applause. Good afternoon, members of the Brown community. I usually do this with background music, but <laughs> I can explain later. Uh, so, uh, good afternoon to everybody, uh, President Paxson, if she's seeing us uh, virtually, executive team, faculty, staff, students, and guests. My name, as mentioned before, is Raymond Sanchez Torres, and I'm a project and application coordinator for the New England Addiction Technology Transfer Center. It is a mouthful, but it's worth it. Um, I also want to thank the HR team for considering me to speak at Brown's 2022 Brayer Day. So I want to talk a little bit about how, um, how it's been here. I've been at Brown a little over 10 and a half years now, working on the other side of research uh, with a model we call technology transfer, where we uh, cycle research science and evidence-based practices through the three phases, development, dissemination, and implementation. Primarily, we look at how research impacts the substance use disorder treatment and work uh, and recovery workforce and use this information to guide and improve training and technical assistance with a focus on providers. A moment or a project that has made me very incredibly proud to be part of this community. community. I participated in many project re work related projects over the years, but one experience always has remained the highlight of what we, the Brown community, can accomplish when we work together. This experience happened about six years ago during a staff development day, I remember signing up to volunteer as a carpenter with Habitat for Humanity an entire day. Together with a group of 12 to 14 Brown staff and the building contractor, we put up the roof of a new house being built for an unknown Providence family. Today, I can still drive by that house and say, I helped build that house. It's really, 
all about making a positive impact in our community. Also, I want to tell you a little bit about a funny story that uh, happened to me while working at Brown. Uh, believe it or not, leaving Brown and coming back was the funniest thing that ever happened to me. Yes, I did leave Brown. It is true. People might be wondering why this is. That single crazy act won me an award titled the Where the Hell is Ray Award. <laughs> Given to me by my former supervisor and director, Dan Squires, Every time I look at it, it makes me laugh because it tells a story of my first six years at Brown in one single sentence. For the only staff member in ATTC history to almost get fired, redeem himself only to leave, then come back to desperate open arms. What can I say? It's a really long story. <laughs> I enjoy working at Brown for several reasons. First, when most people find out that I work at Brown, they think I'm a professor. And that's pretty cool. Even though I'd like to say yes, I say no, not a professor. I take pride in knowing that Brown's prestige follows all of us one way or another. So thank you to all of you who make this a reality. <laughs> Seriously, the main reason I love working at Brown is the human experience. My coworkers are like an extended family. And we all have close relationships with each other, others based on trust and respect. These qualities create a comforting environment where I'm rewarded with a balanced work life and a personal life. Flexibility is of uh, importance to me as well. And Brown, in more than one way, could be comparable to a rubber band. Finally, my supervisor, Dr. Sarah Becker, is a champion for us as staff and she continues to embody, model, and exceed my expectations of what a professional and caring leader should be. Finally, what keeps me going through the tough times? The peace of mind of knowing that as, as a team, we have the resources, ability, confidence, and support to make it through once again. If we made it before, we can do it again. Thank you all and blessings. Thank you, Raymond. That was so inspiring, and we're so glad that you're back at Brown. So we're fortunate to have him as a colleague and as part of our community, and I love it where Raymond said it's all about the human experience. So in, in true Bear Day tradition and fashion, we're about now to go to our Bear Day video. Thank you. Everything that we do is about meeting the students' needs and meeting them where they're at. It's a privilege to work at an institution that allows me to put that at the front of my work every single day. It's a gift to be able to say we're doing this in a way that is student-centered and student-focused, and we're able to even make meaning and connect with people in the most difficult moments. We're not faculty, so we're not teaching them, but we're supporting them because we're genuinely interested in them, interested in their work and what they're doing, but also, how was your weekend? You know, are you going home for the holidays? How's it going? And I think they really appreciate that they get that from the people in this community, as well as the amazing things that they're learning and doing. We really are there dedicated and committed to serving the Brown community and making it a wonderful place to come to work. And that's really what I enjoy too, not just what we offer, but what the whole community here at Brown helps and cares for each other. Our motto being we care is something that kind of stands true throughout the university. Someone recently said in one of our big university Zooms, they don't think anybody comes to work at a university who's not an eternal optimist. And by that, I mean, we automatically twice a year get to flip the page and start over. So we get new faces that come in. And you know, sometimes those are new faculty, but most of the time they're new students, new graduate students. And I just think that's one of the reasons that I love working at Brown is this constant hope and start over mentality. I think we've been able to offer an environment that people feel like they can come and do their best work. And we have some incredible staff members here who are doing really great things and really pushing their individual careers and fields. So, I mean, there's just so much to be proud about. 
we're all here for the same outcome of everything and we spend a lot of time together. You do get to know people, you do get to care about people and you know, you wanna know what's going on in their everyday lives. You don't want just everything to be mundane and you gotta go do this, go do that. You wanna have those every day-to-day -day conversations. What's most important is that all the staff work very well together and you know, we all have each other's backs. We all have an opportunity to work with some of the most brilliant people and to be able to pull from all of that different expertise all across the institution, it's a huge privilege. I don't think I've ever worked anywhere where I've had so many different people that I can pull from and collaborate with and that want to show up and do the work in collaborative ways. And I've seriously just grown absolutely tremendously by being able to witness the brilliance of my colleagues. They let me show up for them and shine too. It's reciprocal. I have just loved it here from the day I started. I was a 19-year-old kid fresh out of Catherine Gibbs School, and here I am 32 years later, and just the people and the helping the students and the faculty and the diversity at the university is what keeps me going and what I really enjoy. There's no, that's not my job. We all pitch in. If that's something needs to get done and it's not really, you know, what you do, we do it anyway. When you step back and look at the amazing things that are accomplished every day and that are being worked on in these labs and engineering and over in all the other buildings, it's a pretty incredible place to be. For this Bear Day video and celebration, I want this to be a celebration of all of the staff, right? And, and recognize that excellence and recognition of excellence can take so many different forms. And whether that's, you know, the way that a student thanks you or, or, or sends you a thank you card or, you know, someone having uh, trust and confiding in you. And I think it's just important for all of us today, especially as things are really difficult, to remember the contributions that we make and the difference that we make in the lives of the students and the staff members that we work with. So congratulations to everyone because I think we're all part of what makes Brown excellent. Let's thank everybody who played a role in making that uh, video. That was a pretty, pretty impressive, very inspiring. And I'd also like to uh, have us give a warm round of applause to everybody who worked to plan and execute Bear Day this year. So good afternoon and happy Bear Day. My name is Sarah Latham and I am the brand new Executive Vice President for Finance and Administration here at Brown University. And it is an absolute pleasure and an honor to join you for my, also my, like Marie's, very first uh, Bear Day. It's, it's like my first year, so uh, everything's new to me. Uh, and it's been an absolute joy to honor some award recipients this morning and then gathered this afternoon with our students and so many wonderful colleagues, so thank you. I wanna thank so many of you for welcoming me into this community. Uh, you have been so warm and gracious I have just been here a few weeks and I relocated from California where I spent the last 10 years working at the University of California, Santa Cruz. And you all have helped me adapt and adjust to life at Brown and you've helped me become a New Englander sort of. Um, I've got a Rhode Island driver's license but I have not yet shopped at the Ocean State job lot so I'm not sure if I'm a real Rhode Islander or not, I don't know what that means. But I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there eventually. Uh, but you know, again, it is such an honor and I wanted to share some words with you all this afternoon about why our staff matter here at Brown, the impact of what you do. And I knew I could do it in a lot of ways, but I've chosen to talk about your impact through the use of four numbers. So I'm gonna tell you these four numbers because I think they represent why your work matters here. And I'm gonna say them and then I'll welcome anyone to raise your hands in case you think you know what the numbers stand for. But here they are. 100, 83, 35, 21. That's 100, 83, 35, 21. Now, does anyone want to raise their hand that you think you know what that means? 
You're probably thinking it's some sort of weird California thing. It's not. It does feel like bingo, or maybe lottery numbers. But if I'd won the lottery, I would have flown all of us to a very warm tropical location to celebrate Bear Day. It represents the educational pipeline in the United States. For every 100 freshmen in high school, 83 will go on to graduate. Of those 83, 35 will enroll in a post-secondary institution. And of those 35, 21 will graduate within six years. So 100, 83, 35, and 21. Now, not everybody chooses to take the next step in that pipeline, but for those that do, it can be a challenging journey, and not everyone makes it through. Each of you will have your own story about what the pipeline of education looks like for you and your families. Now, at Brown, our numbers are much higher than those national averages. We have very high retention and graduation rates here. But let us not forget that as we stand here in the year 2022, going to college and getting a degree is still a monumental undertaking. There are challenges that people face every single day. I, like many of you, was a first-generation college student, and I've known many people who have tried and not always made it through that entire pipeline. But that's where you come into play, and that's why you matter. Because you see, every single one of you no matter what you do, is playing a role in that pipeline here at Brown University as our students every single day work their way through it. We even have symbolic celebrations here at Brown where we symbolize and celebrate critical milestones in that pipeline. We celebrate students as they walk through the Van Wickle gates and we celebrate them as they walk back through them at graduation. Every day through my office window at University Hall, I can see the Van Wickle gates. And I think of that pipeline, and I think of the role each of you play in those stories of those students who are working their way through that pipeline. Each of you matters, no matter what your job is. If you are the custodian that is cleaning the classroom in which transformational learning is taking place, you matter. If you are the career counselor that is guiding students about what possibilities exist for their life after Brown, that job matters. No matter what your job is, no matter what you're doing, if it's processing the travel reimbursement for a faculty member who is engaged with research with students that's gonna change the world, that matters and that has an impact. Or whether you're working in staff human resources and you're processing the hiring request of a coach who's gonna be here and become a mentor and a guide to students as they undertake their educational journey here at Brown. That job matters. But I hope that as you think about your impact here, that you don't think about your job title. You know, I had the privilege of teaching many leadership classes over the years, and I've done an activity with many participants where I've had them write down what their job title is, but then next to that, write down what their impact title is. Now, your job title is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's your job title. It's what might be on your business card if you carry one, or what might be in your email signature, or what you tell people you do when they ask you what you do for a living. That's your job title. But your impact title, that's where the magic happens, because that's where you articulate the impact of that job. So your job title might be analyst, but your impact title here might be problem slayer because every single day you are tackling problems and improving the systems of our campus so our students can have a better experience. Although in New England you might be called a wicked problem solver because I've also learned that we throw in the word wicked as an adjective in a lot of phrases. <laughs> now your business card might say, you're a career counselor, but your impact card might say, you are an igniter because every day among our students, you are igniting in them ideas of how they can take their degrees and make a difference in this world. Your business card might say you're a food services worker, but your impact card might say you're a cheerleader because every day you engage with students as they stand in line to get food or pay for food, and through those conversations as they share their highs and lows with you, a word of encouragement from you might make a huge difference to them in their journey through the pipeline. So no matter what you do, you have an impact here. Now, one of my favorite phrases is, we sit beneath the shade of trees we did not plant. And in my office at UC Santa Cruz, I had a big painting of a tree on my office wall. 
And it reminded me of that concept. And as people would meet with me or visit me in my office, I would remind them of that concept. When I left UC Santa Cruz, I gave that painting to our director of sustainability so she could hang it in her office and continue that tradition. Every day here, as I recognize, as I start my tenure, I know I sit beneath the shade of trees I did not plant. I know I benefit from the impact that you have all made in your role as staff members here. Not just for years, but in Brown's case, for centuries. And for that, I am so grateful to you. And for that, we celebrate you today. So happy Bear Day. And please know, I don't take it lightly, the privilege it is to be the new executive vice president and work alongside you as you all make your daily impact in the pipeline of our students' journey here. So thank you very much. And now back to our program. Thank you, Sarah, and how inspiring is that to be talking about not just the impact of our staff, but the impact of all that we do for Brown University. Titles aren't important. Our students don't refer to us by titles, but they remember the positive experience that we leave them. So all about experience, all about impact, and I love it. So that's our takeaway, impact title. So let's give a round of applause for Sarah, welcoming her to the Brown community. Thank you, Sarah. So keeping the energy high, everybody who knows me knows that I don't like to, you know, not have the opportunity to do a little dance. And we have with us today, I might spare you with the dancing at least today, but we are, please join me in welcoming the Chatter Talks, a student a cappella group. Thank you. Well, 
Thank you so much, the Chatter Talks. We appreciate you. And as they said, thank you for being right here, and we thank you. So it's come to that time. Again, thank you for coming. But guess what? The fun is not over yet. But before we close, I want to thank again those individuals who really made today special. I also would like to thank you for being here. It says a lot that you've come out in the rain to celebrate Brown, celebrate your accomplishments, and to recognize, and also to get to see your fellow colleagues. So we also hope you'll stick around, because for those who like food, what, what is an event at Brown without food? And we also have jazz for those people who love music, which I'm one of those as well. But in closing, we hope to see you next year. 
I also challenge you, as Sarah so rightly said, think about your impact title. And words cannot express how much we appreciate you and for all that you do to make Brown such a great university and a place to work. So give yourselves a round of applause. And with that, enjoy your refreshments. Have a great day. See you next year at Bear Day. Hit it, Jazz Team. Hit it.